how to use HubSpot CRM. Now, this video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to show you everything you need to know, all of the features of this website and everything like that. So if you are interested in using HubSpot for your business, then keep watching as this will be the most valuable video you ever watch. Now, if you want to go ahead and get a free trial with HubSpot, you can do so using the link down in the description. That will allow you to follow along with this tutorial, have a look around HubSpot and get an idea of how this works. Okay, so as you can see, I am here on HubSpot and it says an easy to use CRM. Now, what we can do, guys, is we can go straight ahead here and start free or get a demo. So let's load this up and you can see it asks what you actually need to do. So I'm just going to click right here on get started for free. And now it's going to ask me to go ahead and create an account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with Google just like that. And then next, what is your job role? And just like this, guys, it is now going to go ahead and prepare my account. So let's just go ahead and answer a few more of these questions. And once we have done that, we will be taken over to the HubSpot app. So we can see at the top here, there is a few hubs that we can go to. CMS hub, the sales hub, service hub, and operations hub. And this is going to depend on what type of business you actually own. So the first thing that you actually need to do is go ahead and add some contacts. So what I'm going to do is go up to contacts right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and add some contact, create contact and go ahead and add a few. So once we have done that, what we can actually now do is create your first HubSpot campaign. So this takes about a minute and we can go ahead and click create an email. And uh, yes, we do not want this. And what we are going to do right here is simply choose an email template. So I will just go with the most standard and the most basic email template. And you can customize this in any way you like, guys. So I'm just going to say right here, uh, benefits of subscribing you will be cool. Um, number two, it helps me. And number three, you got value. We have the email right here. You can also go ahead and add in an image of the company logo at the top. Once this is done, we can then go into the settings and we need to add a recipient here. So let's just add the guy that we just added. And do we want to send this to an email list? If you have an email list set up in HubSpot, this is where you can connect this. And then once this is done, all we need to do is go back and add a subject line. So we will say subscribe and then we can click review and send. We need to add in a company name and address right here. So you need to enter in, as it says here, company name, wherever your company is located. So let's just do this. And now we will be able to go ahead and we can send this email. Are you ready to send this email immediately? Send email now. And there we go, guys. We have the first email created on HubSpot. So if we now go back and um, <clears throat> explore on my own. So we have done task two of eight. So next step is invite your team. So this is if you have a few members of your team, if you have a small business and you would like all of your members to work on HubSpot, we can go ahead and invite your team. So what we are going to do right here is we are going to create a user and you want to simply add in their email address right here. Once that is done, we can just go ahead and click on next. And it's going to ask you what permissions would you like to give them? So you can just go through here, guys, and you can basically choose what permissions this person has and what they can do, what they can't do. And we can also go ahead and assign them a team. And once that is done, we can click on next and send. And then what's going to happen here, guys, is we just copy this invite link right here. Then you just need to go ahead and email it to this person. Once they click on it, they will be able to go ahead and join your team. So now that is done, you can see that we are 50% of the way through. Now let's go back. Uh, import contacts, which I showed you how to do earlier, so we can skip this. And then we can go ahead and create your first form. So this is very, very interesting. Whoopsie. And if I just go back here, guys, you can see what the forms are. Fill your database with leads from your website using effective online forms. And this is where you can actually go ahead and you can create an email capture form. So let's just go with the blank form and click on next. And then you can see here, guys, that we can add a few things in. So I want to just collect the first name and the email. That is absolutely fine with me. I don't need any more, any more information. And whoopsie, update. We can then click publish. And this form is now published. So what we can do is we can send this form to people. And when they go ahead and they decide to enter their email and name into this form, then HubSpot is automatically going to add them to a database where we can collect their emails, see their name, and we can reach out to them and follow them up with more marketing. So you can see if I enter email 
first name and email thank you for submitting the form and as you can see right there this is now added now the final thing that we need to do is create an email list and this is going to allow us to send out emails to people and retarget them on autopilot through more marketing emails so if we click on create a list right here and we can create a list all we are going to do is, of course, we are going to a contact based if you are B2C or company based if you are B2B. Now, I'm just going to go here with contact based and call this a test list. And this is going to be an active list. Yes. Click on next. And then down here, it says start building your list by adding a filter. So we are just going to go ahead and add this one. Uh, we then type city into a search box. So city and we can see that city appears. You only need to see contacts with a city recorded in your contact details so let's remove any that don't so we need to click equal to and we are going to put is known in right here save the list and then you can see that this is 100% set up and we are now ready to go ahead and use HubSpot okay so once we have gone through that tutorial and we are now able to use the HubSpot website exactly how we would like we also have the conversation area right here so you can see your inbox. We can also connect this through email, chat, forms and Facebook Messenger and everything is going to show up right here. So you can collate emails, chat, forms and Facebook Messenger in, in and Facebook Messenger in one place and maybe you'll outsource this entire process to somebody else, but either way it's super nice of them just to come into this area and for them to be able to see all of the messages they need to respond to. Now we also have this marketing area. We can first of all come into ads, see which ads are turning visitors into customers. Uh, we can go through and email and we can see that you can get started with email automation for free right here. And we can also go for landing pages where we can create 20 landing pages for free. So basically guys, you get a lot of things included in this free trial. We then go for social SEO and a few other things down here. And then in sales, we have the deals area. So this is if you get a deal in your business, um, what you need to do is you need to come up to sales here at the top and go down to deals. And then right here, we are taken over to the deals menu. So as it says, deals are the best way to keep track keep track of how much you are turning prospects into customer and how much money you are making over time. Now, what we can do is we can create a deal. And let's just say that this deal is for an agency client and we can see how far and we want to keep this in the sales pipeline the deal stage is how far along are they so have you got an appointment scheduled are they qualified to buy presentation contract sent closed la 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 what we are going to do is we are just going to say this is a qualified customer and all we need to do is hop on a sales call we could then say that this is maybe a two thousand dollar per month contract and this is maybe rolling month over month and this is the close date is on the 30th of June. Finally, what we can do is if you have like a sales manager or a CMO, we can go down to contact and we can actually add them in. So let's just add this guy right here, Mike Ripley, and he is going to handle this call and everything to do with this. We can then click on create right here. And what you guys will notice is we can see that we now have this deal, an agency client, $2,000. And what we can also do is let's say that Mike hopped on this call and he closed them very, very nice. What either you or him can then do is come into this area of CRM hub. And what you can do is change the stage to a closed one. And just like that, guys, we can see we moved the deal from qualified to buy over to closed one. Now, if we go back out, what we can also do is we can see it right here. We can see that it was closed at this exact time and for the amount of $2,000. So that is very nice and that is the deals area. This this area allows you to see how much you are making with the business, see what your close rate is, see how good you are, and basically see how well the business is operating. And the awesome thing is you can also see associated contracts right here or contacts I should say. And you find a lot of people that are losing out on a lot of sales calls. They are not closing a lot of clients. You will then be able to have a word with them as you can see exactly who is associated with each deal. Now, the second thing that we can do is we can go over to forecast right here. And as you can see, powerful and easy forecasting, customize your forecast categories and forecasting model to match your business. So we can see an exact sales forecast right here. However, I will mention guys that this is only available with the sales hub premium plan. And if we actually go ahead and take a look at how much this costs, we can see that to upgrade to professional, this is $450 a month, which is the maximum version. Then we can go here for $1,200 a month. 
Under automation, we have sequences and workflows. Now, I don't really use sequences on my other account, but I do love to use the workflows area. And you can see run powerful automated email campaigns. And this is how you can streamline your email automation in a very, very nice way. We then have this reports area where you can look at dashboards and also, whoopsie, let's go here. We can look at dashboards and we can also look at analytical tools. So guys, that was a quick tutorial on how you can actually go ahead and use the HubSpot app. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.